What's up everyone? It's Mark with Launchpad B and I'm coming in today with another video. Now today I'm not doing a tutorial. Um, this is a little bit of a different video where I'm talking about ClipChamp. Now before I jump into all of this, this is not a paid endorsement. This video simply comes from one of our viewers named A4 who's asking, can you make a video about if ClipChamp Pro is worth it or not? Now I wonder if A4 actually works for ClipChamp and you guys are just looking for some free publicity. I don't know, but A4 Let's take a look at that. The short answer is, it's an amazing deal. Uh, as a matter of fact, I used to teach videography classes before COVID um, here locally in San Antonio uh, for entrepreneurs. And I would teach these classes uh, with a couple different organizations and I would teach people how to use their cell phones and ClipChamp to create amazing content to promote their businesses. Uh, once people got up and running, I would encourage them to get into it and actually purchase a subscription because it's a steal. Now I'm going to show you why. So let's go ahead and jump in to ClipChamp. Now the first thing I want to show you is the different tiers of pricing. And I'm going to tell you that the $324 a year offer is spectacular. Now it only does 1080p, it doesn't do 4K, but that's not a problem because most people, at least 80 plus percent of people watch videos on their cell phone and it's going to downscale it to about 480 anyway. So, uh, but I do highly recommend if you're looking to use video for a business, to promote something, or you're hoping to leverage videos uh, that you're gonna use for some kind of revenue, it's absolutely worth it. As you go down the scales, um, you're gonna lose some of the options. Now, I'm gonna sh now the reason I like Platinum, why I push that route, uh, because it's about, what, $25, $30 a month. Um, it's a really good deal. They're gonna give you unlimited videos. You can do as many as you want. Now, other video software is gonna give you that as well. Uh, you're gonna do 1080, which I said, that's what you're gonna get. Uh, now, they give you the option of backup stuff on the cloud. Maybe it's not as uh, important as that because I, I back everything up on my computer anyways. But here's where the money is at. Unlimited audio stock. That's gonna be music and different things that you need. Unlimited video stock, which is fantastic. Uh, and then custom branding, I'm not really sure what that means, um, but they offer it as well. Uh, but let's jump in and I'll show you why it's going to be a steal. So I'm going to go ahead and go into a website here that is called Storyblocks. Uh, and let's say I want to do a video about dogs. So I'm going to type in dogs and uh, let's see what comes up. Uh, here's all the videos I got for dogs. All right. Now, to, to be completely transparent, when it comes to Storyblocks, their subscription is like $360 a year. Now, if you go back and you look at ClipChamp, they're charging you $324 a year when this provider of stock video is charging you more than that just to access the stock video. Now, I personally do have a, a subscription to Storyblocks and it's just because I do make videos for a living. So I have to have very deep resources when it comes to finding stock footage. I'll get into a little bit later on in the video and explain why. But if we go into ClipChamp here and let's go ahead and take a look at what they've got available we're going to go to the left here where it says stock video and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to type in dogs. And here we go. All of this footage we see here is video of dogs. And there's going to be a pretty significant amount available for you. Uh, there's a lot to look at here. And again, this is included in your subscription. You're not paying anything extra. This is part of that premium subscription. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is a website that's called Artlist. And this is where I find my music that I use for my YouTube channels. It's my background music. You can get sound effects as well. Artlist is about $300 a year. They've got an amazing assortment of things here in music that you can go to. They've got it categorized by type of music. And, and you know, if you want electronic or hip hop, what you're looking for, it's here. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at ClipChamp. On the left hand side, we've got music and effects. Uh, and here we go. We've got a lot of music to look at. And they've also got it set up. So they've got free to use, they got chill, they got dramatic, they got beats. If you want to do some kind of hip hop. So there is music here available. And again, they do have a significant amount of music available to you uh, if you're looking that route. And you can simply go to the top and type in. Let's say I want to type in hip hop. There we go. Uh, and here is a list of all of the different beats and stuff they got available for hip hop. Uh, and it just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. Now it's not organized amazingly simple, but it's there. There's a lot of content available to you. 
Next thing I wanna show you is a website that's called Motion Array. Now, I also have a subscription to Motion Array, again, because I need this. Uh, Motion Array actually creates what are called Mogurts. These are motion graphic files that I use in Premiere Pro. So if I wanna make an animated graphic, I could either go and use it in After Effects or I can go to a site like Motion Array, pay them $250 a year and have access to this. And I can basically go in here uh, and I can find any of the motion graphics that I want to. Uh, if I decide I like them, I'm gonna push play here uh, and it's gonna show me what they look like. If I like it, I download it and then I'm gonna import it into my Premiere Pro and it's just as simple as changing the font, the text, what's written in there. So, so far we've got 360 for Storyblocks, 250 for Motion Array, and $300 for Artlist. So we're getting up there. Now the next thing I'm paying for is Premiere Pro. Premiere Pro is the software that I use primarily for video editing um, because it's very robust. It has a lot of capabilities. Now I'm paying over $400 a year for a subscription to Premiere Pro. Now again, I make videos for a living. Premiere Pro is very robust. It has a lot of capabilities, but at $400 a year, a lot of people who are just getting into the business, maybe it's not for you. There's also a very steep learning curve on Premiere Pro. If you wanna learn Premiere Pro, there's a couple of options. You can go back to college, uh, take a cin cinematography course, they'll teach you everything you need to know about Premiere Pro to a certain extent. Uh, you can do online courses. You can pay for that anywhere between two to $300 on up for a Premiere Pro class. Uh, or you can just figure it out by looking at YouTube channels and hoping that you find what you're looking for. So there's a lot of things out there. Anyways, adding it all up, it stacks up to a tremendous amount of money. Now let's go back and take a look once again at the pricing, $324 a year. And you get essentially all those tools in here. And now let me go, go ahead and show you how they function. So if you guys are just interested whether it's a good deal, you can go ahead and tune out. If you wanna see me put some of these tools to use, here we go. So let's say we're doing a video about dogs. We want it to be a touching, kind of an emotional video where we talk about why dogs are amazing. I love dogs. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to bring in my video. Here we go. This is my video here where I'm talking about dogs. Let's go ahead and push play. That dogs make an amazing pet. And I say pet, but I, I use that term loosely. I mean, they're like family. Okay, let's pause. I wanna add a lower thirds. That's where my name shows up. So I'm gonna go to the left-hand side over here uh, and I'm gonna look for text. And there's a lot of different text options here and I wanna do a lower thirds that identifies who I am. So let's go ahead and look here. There's a lower third there. There's a bunch of different ones. Uh, let's just keep it simple for the sake of the video. And we're gonna go here. I'm gonna type it, go to text and I'm gonna type in what it is. Once we've entered the text, we can go ahead and do that. Now let's go ahead and take a look how it looks. I'm introducing myself. Yeah, but I have to say that dogs. Now the color's kind of hard to see, so we can go out in here into the colors and we can change it. So let's say we want this to be a uh, dark violet color, or let's say we want it to be a dark blue color, or let's go even darker than that. We can actually go in here uh, and we can actually adjust the color if we wanted to. So let's go ahead and go here uh, and I want to make it a lot darker. There we go. Uh, perfect, and then we can actually even transform it. If I wanted to like, let's say make it bigger, I could just tap on it, bigger, put it where I want it. Let's say I wanna put it on this side over here. So boom, there you go. Now the color's not gonna work. So again, go ahead and go here and let's go back to a light color. Boom, there we go. Mark B, dog lover. So um, motion graphics built into Glitch Amp. Dogs make an amazing pet. And I say pet, but I, I use it. Now we wanna get emotional here we want to show people you don't want to just have a guy talking about dogs so now we're going to bring in b-roll and this is what the stock video is for whenever you're doing a video about somebody talking about something you want to be able to flip and show examples of that content uh, that way the viewer is immersed somebody wants to watch me talk for 48 seconds about dogs but if i add something into them go back to where it says stock video so i'm going to go ahead and type in dog family So here we, here we go, we got a picture about family. So now let's go ahead and uh, find a clip that we like. This is per perfect, let's just go ahead and drop it in. Here we go. So let's go ahead and see how that looks. Folks make an amazing pet. And I say pet, but I, I use that term loosely. I mean, they're like family. You can tell just the way that a dog looks at you. All right, we're gonna pause there, right here. We're gonna cut there. I wanna get a picture of puppy dog guys now. There we go. And we're just gonna butt it up against it. So now we're gonna have a transition where we go from here to here. I mean, they're like family. You can tell just the way that a dog looks at you. There's like unconditional love there. Okay, I wanna switch it. We're gonna have another picture of another dog looking at me. This is perfect. I'm not even having to look that far. Here we go. Conditional love there. I mean, you're like their world and they're just enamored with you. They just, they just wanna be with you. 
All right, now we're going to cut back to me speaking. You know, it's not like cats. You know, cats don't... Now we're going to find a cat. This is a good one here. Here we go. So here we go. I want to be with you. It's not like cats. Cats just, they barely tolerate you. Now we're going to switch back to dogs. Oh, this is a good one. Here we go. And I'm not even doing research. I'm just pulling what's here. Great you. But dogs, that's something else. And we're going to cut it here just for the sake of time. Okay. So we've got a lower third. I've got stock footage. Now we're going to add some music. Let's add something kind of somber. Okay. So it's going to go under music and effects and we're going to type in something that is uh, mood. There we go. We're going to drop it in underneath. There it is. Now the thing about music is that it tends to be overpowering. So you have to have the ability to lower it. So if you go to the top up here where it goes audio, we're going to go down to 10%. But I have to say that dogs make an amazing pet. And I say pet, but I, I use that term loosely. I mean, they're like family. You can tell just the way that a dog looks at you. There's like unconditional love there. I mean, you're like their world. And they're just enamored with you. They just, they just want to be with you. It's not like cats. Cats just, they barely tolerate you. But dogs, that's something else. There you go. Is Clip Champ worth it? Well... We just did the entire gambit. We had a motion graphic, we had editing, we had B-roll, we had music, and all for that one price. Now I will say ClipChamp has been very supportive of the content that I'm creating, so they've actually given me a coupon code for you that if, you know, if you're on the fence, you're not sure whether you wanna do it or not, you wanna give it a shot, there is a coupon code down below in the description that ClipChamp gave me. The code doesn't expire. It'll give you one month of absolutely free platinum subscription so you can try all of the cool stuff that i'm showing you try it totally free so a4 that's my answer to you now you can go down if you want and you can go to the cheaper one if you go with the creator option you're going to only export at 720 and that's pretty much all you're going to get editing herps you go with the business option uh, then you're going to get your access to unlimited audio so you can do that but you're not going to get any b-roll and b-roll really makes a video pop so if you go with the platinum version you're going to get everything that i just showed you there and i think it's a steal if you're getting into video. Thanks for watching. A4, I hope that this is beneficial. For anybody else out there who was on the fence, hopefully this helps you make a decision. Uh, either way, again, I'm not getting paid to, to, to show you this. Uh, but if you did enjoy the video, be sure that you drop me a like. Uh, if you uh, enjoy the content and want to keep seeing more things about ClipChamp, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, and also, if you have any questions or if you want to request or just give me a shout out, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.